in this video I'm now back from the Sim Racing Expo and in possession of my new wheel and pedals. So this is the last ever race I'm going to be doing with my old friend the Logitech G29 and it's quite fitting it is here at one of my favourite tracks into Lagos. So let's see how we get on in its swan song. Hey guys, Eerie is here and welcome along to another video. If this is your first time here and you like watching all sorts of sim racing related stuff, subscribe now and click the bell icon so you get notified of every video I upload and you don't miss a thing. So in the last video, I did say I was expecting to see some well-known people very, very soon. Well, it happened pretty much straight away. I found myself in a top split race, little disclaimer here, a top split daily, Admittedly, it doesn't quite carry the same prestige as a top split FIA race with Key on pole. I was just over a second off his time having put in a 1 minute 30.967. So happy with that ran one of my favourite tracks. We were door number 17 in this one. The game wasn't really expecting much of me here, which was just as well really. As having started in 14th, I'd be overtaken here on lap number 1, dropping to 15th. I also had a brief cameo in 13th, as two people found themselves in the Armco in the first corners. And then this happened. I'm going to just dip my right rear onto the grass there, flying across the track and giving the German nowhere to go, who smashes my back doors in, and I end up facing the wrong way and in dead last. I managed to get up to 19th on lap number 5 as I passed a spinning Frenchman and then 18th on lap number 9 after a spinning Spaniard this time. So after spending the rest of my race trying to recover and fuel save, I managed to make my way all the way back up to the rear bumper of the German who thanks to me punted me off. I almost get 16th here but end up finishing 0.001 seconds behind him to bring home a very disappointing 17th in my first trip back to the top lobbies and the final race of the G29. Now I can't go out like that and I can't let the G29 go out like that so I needed to go again. So moving into race number 2 then we were clearly just in that top split as after that result we are back in the lower one. With door number 8 in this one, the aim here is to at least get another podium which would be a good recovery from the last race and it would also be a good enough result I think to have a net gain in driver rating. Last time out I didn't do the greatest job of fuel saving, this one is obviously a no stopper as you would have seen from the last race so we'll be playing the long game in this one to ensure that I have no fuel concerns come the end of the race. Starting from third, I'm going to go back to the good old strategy for me of keeping it cool, calm and collected. I'm not going to win any races here on the first corner, so I'm going to keep an eye on these two, try and stay with them while saving as much fuel as possible, and then see how the race pans out. So I was happy to sit behind them until lap four where I felt I was being held up and the leader was starting to pull out a bit of a gap so I decided I needed to make a move. Thinking a couple of corners ahead I thought I'd try and stick it round the outside here at turn number 4 giving me the inside up the hill into turn number 5. As we make our way up the hill here I decide to leave it in. He turns in and there is contact and I end up barging my way through. Something I don't think I've ever said before, but then I get it back with interest into the next corner So I didn't really have a chance to feel too bad about it But as always I want to know your guys view on that one What did you think of that one? Should I have pulled out like I normally would? Whilst maybe I wasn't alongside enough I personally feel that I would have had the awareness not to turn in If I'd had my time again, I would have probably pulled out but What's done is done and nobody's race is ruined. But let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. Meanwhile we're up to second place now. The leader is about two and a half seconds down the road. So I'm going to try and get my head down and get 
after him. So rejoining the action, the charge was going well and the gap was under two seconds here as we started at lap number six with six tenths taken out of him on the last lap alone which was my fastest lap of the race so far despite managing the fuel but then this happens I find myself on the receiving end of the biggest punt that I've had in a long long time to be fair to him he pulled over to the side to let us back through and he got himself a four second penalty he also apologized in the lobby afterwards which I of course accepted and despite a 9-11 coming from inside us apparently not all is lost we have come out just in front of the raging pack behind so we can get our head back down here and I think it's a case of trying to consolidate this podium now our door number is of course number eight so should get a positive driver racing boost if we hold on to this third place which we said at the beginning was the aim of the game here Rejoining the action here on lap number 8, I'm going to get overtaken here into turn number 1 by the Mazda. Now, I didn't fight it, I'm still playing the long game remember in this race, trying to save my tyres and my fuel as I struggle here trying to come out of the Senna S's. Now, coming into turn number 4, I'm going to have a look back and there's a large gap to the group behind, so there's not really too much of a threat there. But up ahead, he's going to miss the apex, running wide which means he's going to exit the corner traveling slower than Igor Fraga was through Radion. There's going to be contact and he seems to let me through here which means that we're back up now into the podium places. My view was that he wanted to sit behind me to save fuel in order to allow him to launch an attack in the closing stages and take that podium off us that I'm after to send off the G29 with. So I need to be mindful of that keep my head here continue to save fuel and look after the tires because i may well need both of these to defend my position at the end as we start the final lap here it turns out that i was correct he is right behind us now as we begin the final lap here i have learnt from the last race I've looked after the fuel, looked after the tyres as best as I can anyway, so that I have capacity, if required, to use the entire rev range. We're going to stay on board here for the final lap as we try and fend him off and keep this podium place. I'm going to have to go defensive into turn number four, making sure I hit the apex and do not run wide on these worn tyres. I'm going to keep the inside here, coming up the hill through turn number five and into turn number six, trying to keep him on the outside meaning that he cannot launch one down the inside into turn number eight which is quite a good overtaking spot here now the server has a crazy moment there but we managed to survive it and the german in fifth as you can see on the radar there has decided to join the party making our way up the hill here i'm going to pick my breaking point for turn number 11 another good spot to overtake being extra careful to put the power down as I love to bin it at this corner here. Behind the German has actually taken fourth place and is right behind us as we come into and then out of the final corner. But this is where I can, now that I've been smart with the fuel, use all the revs to defend and I'm gonna go and do so. All that is left for me to do now is to keep my right foot buried to the floor and run down to the line where we come home for a bit of redemption here and the podium place for the G29 that we had hoped for. So here's our third place confirmed then. Now that that's done, so let's have a look at how our driver rating points have been affected. So after getting back on the horse following a poor result in race number one, we've recovered the situation in race number two and are now 500 points up on where we were last time out and have 40,654 now. As I mentioned in the intro, this one was the last race ever on the G29. Thank you, old friend. You have served me very well, and I will look back on the Beginner to Winner series playlist fondly. 
But now it is time to move on to pastures new. The next step on our journey here, we're moving onwards and upwards to see what we can achieve now that we are with Fanatec. But for now guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks again so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.